Yep, yeah, it looks like Jack against Jack. Right? Ja hey, one of the guys is Jack, because you know. Yep. Alright, so Battle of the Jackals right here. Jack versus Jack. Jack squared! Yeah. So, um, I haven't seen Jack all before, but I know that I play it, um, Jack quite a lot. I think I'm a Sheik main. I would say he's the best solo Sheik right now in the state. Though there are certainly a lot of other people that are, um, getting close to him. He's got, um, a really good neutral. He's very patient. And, um, he's got one of the best adaption games I've seen, adaptation games of anyone I've seen in the state. And he's one of those guys where he can get popped game one, and then game two he'll two-stock you without punching. So he's pretty good at getting the download on his opponent. He's very good at getting the download. He's impressing at that every time you play. He's just one of those guys he's got to get warmed up. So once he's warmed up, you're in trouble. That, you got to beat him in game one. That's very important. And, um, yeah, but Jack's been doing some good work lately, as always. And, um... I don't know, do you know who Jackal plays? I'm not sure. Uh, it's gonna be Sheik versus um not sure. Craft dinner, I like that. Just doing some button checks here, mm -hmm. setting up the controller. And Jack's always like a robot when he plays. Man becomes just motionless. He's ready to take anyone down. He doesn't care. He's just ready. He's very good at keeping that in check. And I think that's one of those things where there are actually a surprise amount of top players in the state that, you know, have problems, you know, being emotional and stuff like that. But he's one of those guys, I think he's just, like, just the way he looks at the game, the way he treats the game, and the way he's progressing, I think he's got a mindset and the tools to become a top player. So we've got um, Sheik versus Greninja, and I know um, this is a terrible matchup for Greninja. Post match, it might be a little bit better, but I remember my good friend Booty, um, our old Greninja main, used to talk about this matchup. And the biggest difference here is frame dead, simply. Oh, uh, definitely. Things like. I think, like, uh, Greninja has moves like Shadow Sneak to, to get out of any, like, weird combos. Like, if you just spam it. Yeah, it's a nice. And he read the air dot. That was a nice move by Jackal. Okay? And this is a very interesting Greninja. He's um he's kind of like finding his times to get in at mid range and he's getting good punishes here too. Yeah, he's using his nares to set up for combos. And I'm not sure oh is that he's, a he's live. Oh no, we're making it. Um and I'm not sure how much uh Greninja experience um Jack actually has. I don't know if he's played uh cheesecake or um Ooh, that was a good bear, but he didn't like oh he's dead though still. He may have thought he uh, lost his double jump maybe. Yeah, probably lost his jump. Didn't remember he lost it. And Jack is not afraid to be very aggressive off stage. Well, you shouldn't be as chic. You have one of the best recoveries in the game. Mm -hmm. These up tilt swings, but like I said, using the shadow sneak to get out of these combos. Oh, that going was for a, the up smash. That was really. It didn't work, but that was a really cute looking thing. That's not something you see a lot of sheiks go for. That's how you can tell that Jack is a very strong player. He's just building up a lot of extra, and uh, Renita has got to close out the stock soon to have a chance. Yeah, they're, they're getting at like right, right at those percents where um, your combos start to not work anymore because of rage and damage. That's how I take it. But um, Greninja doesn't necessarily have a lot of great kill stops, but he does have things that go into, you know, um, a kill. Like, for example, I believe Down Tilt can go into some stuff, and he's got at higher percents down throw 50 50s with um, the fair, possibly. I think like his Good best fair. setup. I think that was actually a bear. It was a fast fall bear. To take it? I think that was actually the fair because it had the big um, thing on it. And um, Greninja's fair actually auto cancels too, which is pretty cool. He's Bouncing fish. dead. Yeah, no. JV. Getting JV2. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, game one going to Jack. But honestly, I think um, Jackal can do some work. I think his problem was he lost that first stock. And she, if she gets a first stock, it is so hard to come back into it. Just because she's so good at racking up those early percent combos. Definitely. And that's really just the only hard part for her, you know, is getting that first kill. Character, Character switch to Diddy. And um, this is definitely a better matchup for against uh, Sheik. Some people even say Diddy might win now. I think it's about 50-50 personally, but yeah, it's I think it's a pretty even matchup, I would say. Mm -hmm. A lot of, both of them have a lot of good tools to kind of help against the other. And something interesting to look out for is with um, the nerfs to uh, Sheik's fair. Diddy fair might outrange in the new neutral, and so Jack might have to find a way to get in. 
but um, I'm not sure um, if it's just a secondary for Jack or if we co in some, but um, I'm liking his movement right now. He's putting, um, he's trying to use those large hitboxes that Diddy has, but um, he needs to use the banana a little bit more if he can. Good read. I don't, I don't think Jack's giving him a chance to really get the banana out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, then both of these characters have among the best neutrals in the game. Definitely. Banana leads into so many conversions, and um, it can lead into a lot of great traps too, in condition with it. And Sheik's needles also, you know, can allow a lot of grabs and other mix-ups too. Mm -hmm. Going for the down tilt into F smash, whiffing it. Getting to forward throw, going for the bouncing fish, missing. Great air dodge coming from Jackal. And Jackal, it seems like, um, likes to favor that landing air dodge a lot. And he also uses that spot dodge a lot. And I think Jack is starting to catch on to it a little bit. And I wouldn't be surprised to look for Jack to wait for that as he's landing and getting up smash soon. If he doesn't get it, ooh, good bouncing he, fish. Yep. He read the air dodge and he went for the bouncing fish, getting the kill, taking first stock. And um, Diddy, without rage, is going to have to... Get Sheik to maybe one, well this is town safe, probably at least one ten, you know, for at least to have a chance at the down tilt, um, up smash, uh, kill conversion. Yeah, I mean, something I've seen Jackal going for is more down throws into up air. He's going for the hoo -haws. And at higher percents, you want to start going for the up throw too. And they can also be depending on DI, on um, bears, and, um, bears. And the fair just simply does more damage. So a lot of times if you DI a certain way, it's optimal for Diddy to get the fair. But Jack is just not letting him get back on the ground. Be reversing the banana, that giving good. him a good, giving Jack him a good landing option, mixing up his opponent. Is she fair? Good side B. The trade there. Diddy side B has a strange disjoint with the attack version of it that always yeah. kind of surprises me when I see the move coming. Jackal is just trying so hard to get the kill, and he's having a hard time getting in on cheap. Jack is just very relentless right now. He has to vanish and it's gonna kill. With rage, that'll still take out. And um, the move is nerfed a little bit ago. Jack looking very clean right now. And Jack take. will take that 2 0. Alright, so he's gonna be moving on. And who is our next match on stream here? I believe it is Waddle versus Casey, but don't go.